Hi, my name is Chris Michael. I've been leading the development of the Open Banking Standard in the UK now for the past four and a bit years. As a judge in this first ever Open Finance Appathon, I'm really looking forward to seeing applications which offer real customer value and which build and extend on what is currently being delivered for open banking. I'm taking part in this uh, as a judge because I'm really passionate about the value that open APIs can bring. Already we've seen open banking start to start to take off and offer, offer, offer real customer value. We've got over 200 firms now who are authorized in the UK offering a variety of, of services to, to, to customers. We've got about 400 more firms who are currently in, in the sandbox in, in test mode who don't yet have authorization. So there's huge, huge value and potential uh, value still to come. And we've, we've already hit a, a milestone across the, uh, the, the CMA9 in the UK where we've got now over 2 million end customers using open banking. So you know, I'm really keen to see use cases which emerge uh, from the market, which offer extended value based on open finance and doing this ahead of the regulations or any potential regulations. So I'm, I'm really excited about stuff that can happen now based on what we've got in market now but that can extend beyond just what open banking is doing into this, this area of open finance. So I think there's, there's a lot of pain points or problems that, that we've seen um, during the, uh, the last few years. I think many of those have started to be addressed and some of them you could argue have been completely addressed, but I think there's still a long way to go. So if we break this down into a, a few areas, so with retail, uh, retail banking, uh, both for personal and small businesses, um, we're seeing that many, there are many use cases which could be met much better with data that covers additional account types like savings, investments, et cetera. And that's, that's both uh, use cases that are, uh, for example, uh, business accounting or personal finance management, those sort of use cases, but also lending use cases as well. Having a application or a set of applications which can give people a complete view of their finances i think could offer considerable uh, additional value and doing that through apis that go beyond open banking i think is critical to that the second area where we've seen some pain points is around payments um, there are some limitations of what open banking payments currently enable um, things like um, Real-time settlements, or at least the real-time status of, of, of a payment isn't something that's currently available. Um, reducing or removing some of the, the, the fraud, especially relating to APP scams, I think uh, payments could really, open banking, open finance payments could really help, help with that. Um, and in, in corporate uh, banking as well, I think there are some real opportunities to move beyond some of the limitations of, of PSD2. Uh, particularly, for example, the limitation on customers having to re-authenticate every 90 days, limitations around the four times a day um, uh, uh, limit for refreshing account information and transaction APIs, moving that more to a real-time status update of, of transactions. I think the, these are just some of, the, some of the kind of pain points and some of the things that could be done to address some of those pain points that, 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 that I would uh, hope to, to see from this. I think the landscape is 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 changing already with uh, with, with open banking. I think we're seeing uh, many many firms uh, looking to move beyond the the, the, the limitations of PSD two to offer what I would call premium APIs, um, and that could address many of these pain points. So um, APIs that go beyond the uh, the, the the mandated access that the PSD two requires. Um, the FCA are currently running a call for inputs on open finance, and it remains to be seen what, what, um, what that will uh, result in. But ultimately, I think uh, what, what, what I'm seeing, uh, what I'm hoping for in, in, in terms of the landscape changing is that um, uh, businesses offering new services to the market ahead of uh, regulations uh, that require any 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 change in 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 this in this regime. So, what I would hope to see is examples of applications which can prove to the the market and to the regulators 
that there is demand beyond just PSD2. Um, and that could help shape or potentially help shape uh, any future requirements around open finance. I think a winning submission has got to do a number of things. I think it's got to offer real utility and value to customers. It's got to be something that can scale. Uh, it's got to have a strong, sustainable business model as well. Uh, but, but I think really, that aside, I'm, I'm, I'm looking for something that's got a real wow factor. I, I don't know what that wow factor is, um, but I think I'll know it when I see it. In summary, we, we'd really love to see um, market-ready products at the end of this process to see as many of them as possible products that are ready to go into market so please do register to take part in this first ever open finance hackathon